So good morning, guys. Uh, in this session, we are going to discuss about accessing object values or object values iteration, right? So in the previous session, we discussed about foreign and for off loop. Now in this session, I want to discuss about object dot values and object dot keys. I think what? How can we extract the values of an object? How can we extract the keys of an object? Can you see here? So go to the program here. So here, I want to access values. And keys of an object. Let me have an individual object here. This is an object. Let me copy very quickly. Where obj equal to this is the object we have. So we have a method. If you want to get keys, I'm just let me take a variable key. Object is a predefined thing. Dot keys is a method. Object dot keys. Only we will get the keys of an object. If you can print the value k, can you see what you are going to get here? You are going to get only keys of an object. What is the keys of an object? The two an array. So that is going to return an array which contains all the keys, guys. So let us see how the output will be here. Let us refresh it. Can you see? The output is here undefined convert undefined of object. What is the problem here? Let me check it. Sorry, guys, we we missed the parameter here. OBJ, you have to take. We have we want to get the object keys from. We have to pass a parameter, right? Yes, that is the problem I'm thinking. So let us go and check it, guys. Your output will be an array which contain all the keys of the object. Can you see? This is an array. This is not an object here. This can you see? This is going to be an array. Array is going to be name, sub, subject, city, state, and people. You see the program here. These are all the keys. We get the keys. If you want to get only values, yes, we can also get only values also. Now you can see that v equal to object dot values is a predefined method, and just pass the object you want to iterate. So just print the variable v, and we can see all the values of an object. Can you see now? My output will be so. This is going to be values, and above is going to be keys. This is how we can extract the values of an object and the keys of an object, guys. Right. So now earlier we have this data. Now I want to bind this data to a HTML table. So let us bind the data. First of all, we have to iterate it and iterate and bind the data to a HTML table. Let us see how this example works very quickly. This is the data we have. How many records we have here? We have three records. Let me iterate each and every record. Do you see? So I'm going to print it whole object here. My iteration, I will. I want to do like this. Just try to see. I'm just printing. I want to see how the output will look like. So can you see? This is the C array. This is object, and this is an object, and this is an object. The tooltip is coming right. So this is an array. Can you see here? Array zero, one, two, three. What is this zero, one, two, three? Array. So can you see? This is an array. This array contains three values, but the three values are objects. Everything is an object, guys. But if you want to get the first object, how can I write? It? So this is zero, right? If you can write zero, I mean. So if you can write obj of zero, you will get the first object. Yes or not? Right? Can you see here the first object you are getting? So if you want to write one, two, three, four, how many times you are going to write like this? Is it easy? If, for example, now my array array contains three objects. Okay, no problem. I can iterate zero, one, two. But if sometimes your array contains many number of elements, many number of objects, then is it easy? Right? Maybe hundred objects, maybe thousand objects. So we have to iterate it dynamically, right? So that. So let us write a loop here to get the values. First of all, I want to generate a table. Guys, I'll have to check it carefully. I'm just taking a table tag, open table tag, close. Here, table, table, open, close. In this, let me have an ID for this. ID equal to records something. You can take any variable here, no problem. Any ID you can take it in here. So I want to generate a logic. I want to write a logic. To generate a table by using the data available in the array. So now for this, what I am going to do? So first of all, I need to get the headings. I have to append the headings to my table. 
so what are the headings here name subject city state pin code of the headings right okay let's uh, get only headings from the first record so what i want to do here i want to get only the columns uh, just now we seen how to get the columns of a columns of an object right this is the how we can get the columns of an object right so let us have a variable that calls equal to so object dot keys just i want to get the keys but in this i don't want to take all obj of 0 obj of 0 means the first object only see for every object same keys and uh, same keys right just i want to get the only keys of an object that to first object so uh, so if you can print the cons so we already seen the columns are c o l s the cons are in an array can you see the cons are in an array now now what i want to do here let me append these columns to a th tag generally if you want to display headings in a table we have to use th and the th should be in here so here while iterating let me have a variable where r is your yes of course equal to an empty variable i am taking so let us bind records plus equal to open tr so i want to end it here also this is just i'm doing concatenation but in this i want to get my headings so every heading should be in th na so the heading should be dynamic so what i want right here for all of you check it carefully back i equal to 0 i less than calls dot length this is how we can iterate the array length later we will see how can we find the length of an array and all the calls what is this calls how many records are there in this calls four i mean five sorry we have five columns right so now let us take this as a i plus plus just say some of you console dot log just i'm printing it calls of five can you see now it is going to print first column second column third column all the i don't know how many columns are there all the columns are printed name subject city state and pin code but this should be in a th tag now so these are these are going to be headings right so what i want to do let me have a th and concatenate this let us see how the output will be cut th now can you see in the console it is going to print a th open close th open close and this is fine and this i want to bind this information to this table so headings should be displayed not on console table to this table heading should be displayed here first of all let me get the id of it as i am checking document dot get element by id what is the id of the table records or is your ds records dot inner html equal to i'm binding this reports variable can you see now the output will be very nice to the table the headings was appended is it appended no i think so uh, what happened here we have we cannot console.log is not required right now just for displaying output only how the output is coming how the output is generating for that purpose i just use it but you have to append this to records plus equal to variable that's it now you can check it now so tr and the tr in this tr headings are going to be concatenated after the tr is going to be closed now you can refresh it if you can check so now headings are appended to the table so if you want you can check like this also now you can see so this is table to this table th and tr headings are added guys one heading added now i want to get the data if you want to get the data again i have to take one more loop here to display the data now for k equal to 0 so k less than so your data what is your data nothing but obj dot length this is my total object how many records are there three records are there so length will be three so i plus plus sorry what is a variable here k plus plus now every record is going to be a tr right every record is going to be a tr so records plus equal to tr open and close the tr and but in this tr we have to get tds right how many tds we have right we have to get those when it right remember carefully this is already printing the columns those columns information for example how, how can i access the object value here simply console.log 
obj of k and if you want to print the city can i write the city like this yes you have you are going to write the city like this can you see what is your output here so it is going to print the five cities now five, uh, five times the city is going to be printed right because sorry three times you have three records now so hyderabad 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 was printed three times right but the same information i need to bind on the screen so let us do the same here here i'm going to write one more for loop that columns also should be dynamic here that right? j equal to zero j less than calls dot length again i want to get the columns also dynamically i don't want to keep the columns here statically here that's the reason i'm writing one more loop here j plus plus inside of it simply records plus equal to just i'm concatenating into pd and a td yes every uh, value should be inside the td so that's the reason i'm just going like this td and here the value should come obj as your object here you can take k and uh, one more thing here calls of j that's it i think so you can check it the data will be populated perfectly on the table can you see records are binded on the table right if you want to make the headings in a better manner yes we can make the headings also uh, if you want to uh, make this into uh, uppercase letters we get we have a method called two uppercase this is our script method you can just write this so headings will be somewhat bolder right can you see now yes this is your table this is how we can iterate the objects in javascript guys right in next session we can discuss about arrays concept thank you